been getting the push from the medical community for this matter of health. This year, more than ever, it is important to get a flu shot. Doctors say the goal is to avoid a double disaster or a twindemic outbreak of flu and COVID-19 this fall and, of course, this upcoming winter. UCARE Chief Medical Officer Dr. Julia Joseph DiCaprio joining us now to talk about protecting ourselves with vaccines. Doctor, thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. Hello, Rena. Let's talk a little bit about uh, there is no COVID vaccine right now right now. So this year, we really should protect ourselves from at least one of these. Get your flu shot, right? Absolutely. And you know, the thing is that COVID-19 and the flu have many signs and symptoms in common. Fever, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle aches, all of those things. And because they have similar symptoms, it could be hard to diagnose which condition you have based on your symptoms alone. So testing may be done to see if you have COVID-19 or the flu, or because you can have, uh, you can also have both diseases at, at the same time. So getting your flu shot is important, but also knowing about testing is important. Well, let's talk about the test because there are tests, of course, available for both. And can you get a test that does test for both? Actually, coming to the market is probably going to be a test that allows you to get both tested for the flu and influenza using the same nasal swab. But right now, in order to detect influenza, a separate nasal swab is obtained. And they're actually quick tests that can be done on the swabs in the doctor's office with the result telling you whether you have the flu or not available in 10 to 20 minutes. And these are tests that are best done in the first four days or so of an illness because they're more likely to be accurate when obtained as early as possible. COVID-19 testing is done on a nasal swab as well. Right now, a separate nasal swab, maybe eventually the same nasal swab. And those results are usually available in several days, sometimes up to three to five days. And because you mentioned the symptoms being so similar and that you need to get tested in order to determine which one you have, uh, we've been doing a lot of telehealth right now. Probably not going to work for this one if you come down with either one of these, right? Oh, you're right, because in order to make the diagnosis, it's going to require the tests now. It used to be we would say if you think you have the flu and you had questions to call and then the nurse or the doctor would let you know whether you needed to be seen and whether you might have the flu. But because those diseases, those illnesses, the flu and COVID-19 are so similar, right now the best way that you're going to know if you have one is to get tested. So. If you think you might have the flu or COVID-19, call your clinic, call your doctor and find out what you need to do. And they might uh, recommend testing. Well, Health Fair 11 is making it easier uh, to get your flu shot this year through the Flu Fighters Clinics uh, at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. What do you want people to know about that? Well, this is a great event and we are offering three days of safe drive through flu fighter clinics at the Minnesota State Fair, September 25th, 26th and 27th from 9 to 3 p.m. every day. And wonderful nurses from Hennepin Healthcare will administer flu shots on a first come first serve basis. The drive through format will ensure safe distancing for people. The other thing I want folks to know is that attendees will be able to enter the fairground from Snelling Avenue at gate five. That's the gate that I use to enter the state fair. And that's the main interest on, on the east side of the fairgrounds. Very cool. And as I understand, they can do up to a thousand shots a day. That is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. It's going to be a wonderful opportunity to folks to get, for folks to get the very important flu vaccine. And the other thing it's important for people to know is that we'll have a small walk-in area to accommodate people who arrive by public transportation. That's awesome. Doctor, thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Rena. Good to talk to you. And you can get all this information by texting 4 p.m. to the number that you see on your screen, and we will then text you back a link.